In this class, we are going to learn how to create editable table with the help of BDP, wherein the data provider for the BDP will be a data provider variable. I have made use of the same application which we have used in order to learn how to create editable table with the help of BDP. Now, all the things like adding the item to the BDP variable, modifying or updating the any item in the BDP variable or deleting any item from the BDP variable will work as is as if you have made use of SDP variable. Now, in this case, I have made use of ADP as a data provider for the BDP. I will be able to delete. So, you will see the operation whatever I have performed over here in the buffered changes. I deleted 66 record or the ID. Then I will modify this 26th ID record or the item. Then what I will do is I will insert a new record that is the ID number 67. I will name this as test user uh, 2356 something and higher date some random date and the salary. I will be able to save. All the things will work as usual as if you are making use of SDP like in this case as well. Now in order to learn how I have implemented ADP as a data provider for the BTB, we will have a quick walkthrough on our application. First and the foremost thing in the application you have to create a variable of type ADP. If you see over here the type is array data provider and the type we are using is a get person type which we had created in our earlier classes like wherein we had worked on SDP variable for the BDP as a data provider. Now coming to the BDP, here the big change is in the data provider. This is the main thing which you have to look for. Here instead of SDP, we have to map this ADP variable. Just make note, you don't have to pass this data. Instead, you have to pass this ADP variable itself as a data provider. This is the first thing you have to do. Next, what I have done is I have created the action chain that is over here that is to fetch the details from the business object in your case you can fetch the details from the database with the help of ORDS REST API or with the help of integration or any other web services here I'm making use of a REST call to the business object and pulling all the details that is a person details from my business object and I'm mapping the details whatever I have fetched with the help of REST API to the ADP dot data so this action chain I'm calling in couple of places that is when our visual builder application page loads that is under the VB enter action chain that is over here. At the first step we are calling our action chain which is the refresh persons ADP which will fetch the data from the business object with the help of API and it will update the ADP variable. And one more place is when the user makes the modifications to the items or to the data in the editable table and clicks on the save button. So here I have made the changes like when the user clicks on save after it does all the operations like it will update the items it will remove the item and it will insert the new items in the back end in our case is the business object instead of refreshing the sdp that step i have deleted and i am calling our action chain which will fetch the details from the business object freshly with the help of this action chain that is refresh persons adp and it will populate the adp variable with the fresh data from the business object so these are the steps which we need to follow in order to make the data provider for a BDP variable with a data provider variable.